guys, Alu Pop here, and today I'm bringing to you a review of Hatchet by Gary Paulson. When I was about in grade 6 or 7, my class did a project where we could choose one of several books to read and do a speech about. This was not the book I chose, but I remember listening to my classmates and hearing them go on and on about how it was such a good book, and I remember thinking man, I really should have chosen this book because everybody thinks it was so good. Well, about a year ago, I finally found this book and decided to grab it. But needless to say, I had very high hopes for the book, even though by now I really should know better. <laughs> and when I finally got around to reading it, I was kind of disappointed. Hatchet follows Brian Robson who is on his way to visit his father in Canada when Pilot has a heart attack and the plane goes down, landing him in the middle of the Canadian wilderness for months. Now just to start off, the biggest problem with the book is mostly that there is no dialogue except for the very beginning of the book and occasional little snippets where he's talking to himself. There's no dialogue at all. And I know that he's basically stranded alone, so who is he going to talk to? Dialogue is very important to me as a reader. And it's one of the major points to me for what I look for in a book. Really, when I don't have it, I tend to think that the book is boring, which ended up being the case with this one as well. Even if he talked to himself more, would have been fine. And I know that he does do that, but it's really only like three or four points, if that. While the rest is basically filled with his thoughts and descriptions of stuff. At one point, about a month and a half passes between chapters, but it spends the next two chapters explaining things that happened in that time anyways. Granted, the chapters are pretty short, but then, like, so is the book. What is the point of saying that so much time has passed when they're just going to explain what happened in the next two chapters anyways? I know that there must be good points to the book, but at the moment I really can't think of anything. I didn't even really much care for the main character either. I just kind of felt he was written a bit just obnoxious to me. There are apparently sequels to this book. I don't know anything about them, but at the moment I really have no intention of reading them, and if I do, it's probably just going to be a, that I can say that I read them. Originally, I gave this book a 3, but I think I'm going to bump it down to a 2. I didn't hate it enough to give it a 1, but I also don't feel like I liked it enough to give it a 3. So a 2 it is. Thank you guys so much for watching and be sure to come back for more if you like this one.